Hi guys, Crystal here from Crystico Design. Today we're going to crochet a mop cover pattern for a like Swiffer head mop, the rectangle mop. So my mop is about nine and a half inches long by four and a half inches wide, and it's less than an inch deep. So if your mop is a different size, you can adjust your rectangle to fit. To make this mop cover wider or narrower, you can chain to a different odd number. If you're meeting my gauge, then you can just add or subtract four, which is about an inch to my starting chain. You can lengthen or shorten it by working less rows of the repeat. Just make sure you can wrap it around the edges of your mop. My gauge is four inches. I get 16 stitches by 13 rows, if that helps you make any adjustments. Okay, so to fit this mop head, we are going to chain 21 to start. In the second chain from your hook, you're going to place a single crochet, and then a half double crochet back in that same stitch. Then we'll skip one chain, and then repeat that again. Single crochet and half double crochet in the same stitch, and repeat that across the row. And there's one chain left. We'll single crochet in that chain and then turn your work. You should have 21 stitches. Okay, row two will be our right side of our work. We're going to chain one and single crochet in that same stitch. Then we'll skip the next stitch and place a single crochet and a half double crochet back into the same stitch. Then we'll skip one stitch and repeat single crochet and half double crochet in the same stitch and that will be your repeat across. We'll skip one and then place a single crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. Keep repeating that until we have two stitches left. We have two stitches left. We're going to skip one and place a single crochet in the last stitch. You'll have 20 stitches. Then we're ready to turn our work. Okay, for row three, we'll start with a chain one, single crochet in that same stitch. Then we're going to skip the next stitch and place a single crochet and a half double crochet in the same stitch. Then repeat that across. Skip one, place a single crochet and a half double crochet in the next stitch together until you have one stitch left in the row. single crochet in that last stitch and turn. You'll have 20 stitches. Now we're going to repeat that row, row three, until your work is 17 inches long. Okay, if you need a longer or shorter rectangle, you can check by wrapping it around your mop head. This one overlaps about three inches there. Okay, once you have yours as long as you need, we're going to work on the wrong side to sew down these flaps. So we'll fold over both ends with about three inches overlapping. And we're going to use our yarn needle. So I just pull up a long loop, leave a long length of yarn here to sew that side down. You can also start with a new piece of yarn just by threading it in if you need to. And we're going to sew by going under the two loops on the other side, come up and over for that first stitch. Let me remove this quickly. I'm going to pin this side so that I know which row is matching up since the yarn stretches. And that way I'll have the rows lined up and I can make it the same on the other side.
It's about nine rows across the top here that I'm doing on both sides to match, and then you have the two rows there on the side as it curves around. Okay, those are the four edges we'll sew. So we'll just continue from where we started. Again, we're working on the wrong side and we're using a mattress stitch. So we're just going under one or two loops. I prefer going under two. We go back, zigzag back and forth like this all the way down to the end there. So for these other edges, I'll have to pick up a length of yarn and thread it into my yarn needle. Let me just remove this stitch marker. And I'll pull that through to the length I need and go back around on the first stitch. Then I'm going to cut a tail that I will weave in at the end there. And then just continue sewing down this edge like we were for the first side. Okay, once your four edges are sewn, you'll need to weave away those ends and you can turn your mop head cover right side out. Okay, and to use it, you just slide in one end and then fit the other end over it. Like so, and you are ready to use this. These are great for just tossing in the wash after you've used it and then you can make a couple and have them ready to go.